What's good? What's good, people? Your boy May is in the building. Front man of the ATF, Air Force One aficionado. You are now tuning in to SneakerWatch.com. Like I said, we in uh, we in the sneaker room, aka the Welcome to the Jungle, and uh, it's clean now because I knew you guys were coming. <laughs> so this is your first wall. This is the the first wall to the right when you come into the room. Okay. So what are some things you have uh, here? Again, I haven't situated everything yet, but this is probably the first part of the situation that I started. This is most of my LeBron sevens, and uh, some of the, most of these are PEs. You know, the Smurf color PE, the China came out, the regular red came out, Christ the King. Uh, this is the NYC part. This is the, here goes the, ah, here goes the K guy with breast cancer joints. Like these didn't come out. So have you actually rocked those yet? Uh, this one I haven't wore. All the LeBrons I wore, uh, this is the Diana Taurasi Olympic joints. Like these are fire right here. I love this shoe. So did she actually give it to you? Oh, uh, no, no, this was given to me by, uh, Nike basketball, some friends of Nike basketball. They see how much I loved the LeBron 7. Like I was an advocate, I was campaigning. I was campaigning like I was running for mayor. I was campaigning for uh, the Diana to I mean for the for the whole LeBron 7 movement. I thought it was incredible. And uh, here goes another PE that didn't come out. It's like these shoes just crack. Like, old school Cavalier colorway to LeBron 7. Like, I love this shoe. LeBron 7 was my craze, like I went crazy. This this only came out in GS versions, this came out for kids. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, but I got it in my size. I wore this nine and a half. Don't touch my shoes. <laughs> like, this is mean right here, like. You know, to get this in my size, I was like, wow. That's the favor. So Nike just made this shoe that was made for kids in your size? Not just in my size, I'm sure they made it for a few people, but I was one of the lucky ones to get it. Membership has its privileges. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's my LeBron wall. And like I said, I love that. You know, it goes to South Beach and... Ice creams. Yeah, we got the old ice cream. We got the old ice cream. That's when they came in the ice cream box and it was $200 <laughs> a pair. My man asked the chain was responsible for this and Pharrell and yeah, these are the... Yeah, so these are the money rolls. For, for those who are unfamiliar with... A lot of dudes. This was a Reebok campaign put together by Pharrell and my man asked the chambers who works for Nike now, by the way. Okay. It's a couple, like I said, I haven't organized yet, but as we walk through the aisles, it goes to LeBron Low, my coppers. What, what, what's that up there, the green one? Up here? Yeah. This is an ID, this is a TR1 ID. Trainer Max 1 ID. We gotta make a mess, of course you guys, make me make a mess. Uh, it's an ID that I did. Just having fun with some colors. And the back says, and a little ATF crew, which means addicted to fresh. So I was just having fun with these one day. Okay. So I noticed the, um, the majority of your Air Force Ones are lows. Mm -hmm. And I do see a few highs. Yeah. And oh, I have to, I love highs. I, mids, I'm not a fan of. I think I own like two pair of mids, or three pair of mids. I have the Canada mids. Just, they were cool, they were given to me. I have the Michael Vick mids, the black ones, because I'm a Michael Vick fanatic. And uh, I might have the, uh, which other ones do I have? I have another mid. I forgot which one it is. So and uh, not, not, I don't like mids. I'm not a mid guy. Right, okay. What else we working with over here? Matter of fact, I was talking about the remix the kicks earlier. Here goes one of the remix the kicks. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's when they did the remix the kicks. These guys used to paint shoes for rappers, for Clue and Fabulous and all that stuff. This is my ID wall starting from here all the way out. So I'm 160 pages now? Yeah, yeah, probably in this room about 140, 130. So, one point at a random one. Point at a random one. Right here with the, the yellow midsole. Right here. Ah, you picked a good one. I'm gonna show you why you picked a good one. <laughs> you already see why you picked a good one. So this is a yellow ID. I did this ID, I loved it. And uh, this is afterwards, I got somebody to laser my logo on, but I just went all pat all white patent leather, yellow midsole, and a gum bottom is the the, 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 the shit. You gotta have a gum bottom on a shoe. Now you're gonna laugh. Because afterwards, my laser guy was like, yo, I got something for you. How funny is that? <laughs> Look at that. How, how funny is that? You got this handsome face too? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so that was cool right there. You picked out a good fit. First ID I ever made was an Air Max 95, so it's not, it's not in this it's not in this section. So the first Air Force One ID. The first Air Force One ID I think I ever did. Damn. Ah, here we go. Right here. Welcome to the jungle. And here it goes right here. With the old Dubre. Look at that. Look at these materials. I call these the Bronx Zoos. It was ostrich and reptile and snake and all kind of crazy stuff and they had leather wrap midsoles back then no longer available no longer available this is old five. Oh wow look at that right there that's my baby right i got two of these i got another one dead stock somewhere over there. this is when they changed this is like the second time around when they changed the builder i'm sorry to make it more backwards um this is the second time they changed the builder they added silvers and everything so i did like a little usa inspired I wore these when the Questlove Air Force ones came out of A-Life and I had everybody outside bugging. This is a Supreme. This is this is when they, they gave you see the leather wrap. See the this, this overall instead of stitched. Like you would have a normal Air Force One that has stitching on it, like a regular shoe that's stitched. And then you have the overlay like that. These are Supremes, they charge you a little more for these. This was an ID. I was just having some fun with that one. This was around the last Olympics, so I was feeling Olympic y. Made that. I think this shit was dope. I was just feeling like Easter one day. Also cool. Never got a chance to wear them, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here goes another one with my face on it. You wanna laugh? This is a better one. With the Air Force One hat and everything. That's the dude right there. That's him. That guy right there. 